Welcome to the 2013 Trophy Awards. Today I'm showcasing my top five platinum trophy images. I couldn't just do one because A, the video would be really short, and B, best looking trophy image is a subjective opinion. Uh, so let me know in the comments below if your favorite platinum image is on my list or if it's something else entirely. Starting off with number five, Grand Theft Auto V. This trophy is called Los Santos Legend. This will take you 150 hours and rate it at a five out of 10 difficulty. GTA V provides a simple image of a coin from Las, uh, Los Santos. On the face of it, it says City of Los Santos on the top, found in 1781 on the bottom. The most uh, interesting thing about this platinum is how big of a surprise it is if you didn't know what it looked like before earning it. That's because the rest of the trophies in this game are god-awful, and this one stands well above the others. Number 4, Bioshock Infinite. This trophy is called Platinum Columbia. This will take you approximately 20 to 25 hours and is rated at a 6 out of 10 difficulty. All of the trophies in this game are great, but what makes the trophy spectacular, particularly this platinum, is that you can just look at it and guess that the game takes place in the early 1900s without knowing anything about this game. The trophies look uh, like something taken straight out of 1912, which is the time period in which this game is set. Number 3, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. This platinum trophy is called Master of the Secret Arts. This will require at least 80 hours to earn and has an 8 out of 10 difficulty. The amount of detail in this image is astounding. Each time I see it, I notice new things. The amount of detail you find is, is so striking uh, that when you look at the image, you know that not a single pixel is wasted. It's a shame that I generally suck at Ninja Gaiden games, but I know many of you that are watching are probably in the same boat. Number two, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. The platinum is called Wizardry Wiz. Uh, this will require you to spend 80 hours as well to earn, but it has a low difficulty rating of three out of 10. The trophy is simply beautiful. In fact, all 34 trophies in this game as a whole can be considered one of the nicest looking set of trophies available of all time. If you're not familiar with Nino Kuni, it's a Japanese RPG with stunning visuals and a high amount of adorableness. This was very, very close to being my number one choice. Going from one of the cutest platinum trophies possible to perhaps one of the most scary ones in my number one favorite platinum image of 2013, Diablo 3. Players of Diablo 3 will be going after a platinum trophy called, wait for it, Diablo 3 Platinum Trophy. Hands down the worst name of a trophy, but where it lacks uh, in a clever name, it more than makes up for in the art. This trophy will require another 80 hours of time, but for a game with Diablo in its title, it's a relatively easy 4 out of 10 difficulty. Of all the tr uh, platinum trophies on my list, this will be the only one you'll be able to earn twice, and that's because it will be coming out on the PS4 in 2014. So would any of the, these be your pick for best platinum image? Let me know in the comments below saying which one you like best, or if you have something I didn't include, let me know. And please like, comment, and subscribe.